have gone 4 3 3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. So that's got things on the way. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Peter. It's his pace that's his main attribute, especially over those first few yards, where he just seems to glide away from defenders, gets himself into great positions, and likes to hit it hard. And gets up to hit it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, it really shouldn't be allowed to happen again. It needs to be dealt with at source. Forwards and with intent, played out to the right. His interception, his positioning was spot on. Now it's Aubameyang, who oh, strongly challenged there. Bergwijn. It's a good ball and he could be in. Crossfield changing the point of attack. Genduzi. Wiggles his way through. There's the delivery. Cleared without complication. Now it's Genduzi. And the shot! Played out wide into space. Done delicately. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Well, the defence proved infallible then. But that won't be the last they'll see of him. Marseille starting the game with good energy. Looking to take control of proceedings if they can. Pops for safety. Grilich. Bergwijn. Great skill, that's nice. And a header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, that's a move which shouldn't be allowed to repeat. A dribble, cross and attempt. All too easy. Well, this is turning out to be a lively old game. Yeah, especially in those wide areas, something the team have clearly identified as being the more productive of the challenge. Cross is blocked, and that's a corner. Definitely not one of his best. And now a sudden chance to counter. Referee's given a throw. Genduzi. Oh no, no circumventing this opponent. Move forward and quickly so. He's through here. Oh, Berghaus! 
Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Yeah, but that's the threat posed by teams that have those kind of players who are willing to make those types of runs. Out to the right. He's gone out for a throw-in. Played into the box. Played out towards the right wing. Played into the middle. Berghaus with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. Well, I thought that run had balance and control, skill and strength. The sort of desire we hope will spread. So, what can they make of this? And it's fair to... Grilich. Bergwijn. And he's on a charge. Now the finish! And he's there to make a great save. And we hit half-time. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now but still goalless. After a pack on the first 45 minutes. Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. So we're already into the second period. Ajax clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Got a shot! Oh, it's come off the upright! Just off target. I think his face smacks of disbelief as opposed to disappointment. Uh, he thought he was about to score. Alvarez shifted upfield. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. No, oh, he's had it nicked away from him. Davy Klassen. Early ball out from the back. Oh, that's a key interception. Bergwijn. He's going for goal! It's anyone's ball now. Big chance! No mistake! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash.
Ajax break the deadlock. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency, and they can get right back into this. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Bergwijn. Plays it from a quarterback position. Kondogbia gets the better of his opponent and gets the ball. Well timed, excellent interception. Larson. And the counter is on. And it's Correa. Ganduzi. Now it's Under. Here's the crook. Up to meet it! No, not the best of headers. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Ball that Bergwijn crossed into the middle. Ajax clearly have been instructed to kill this off. Offense is the best form of defense. David Klaassen. Long ball out to the right. Oh, that's a clever looking ball. Now it's Klaassen. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. Fiddles it through. Cross deflected behind for a corner. And it's Klaassen. It's Klaassen! A real chance and a real let-off. Under. Now it's Under. Under! What an absolute shame. The composure and imagination to set himself free. He should be locked up after that. kick and the changes then in quick succession well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and 
as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. No unnecessary risks, and the game is petering out here. And that's that.